World Asthma Day. The World Asthma Day falls on the first Tuesday of May in each successive year since 1998 and it has been jointly celebrated by the GINA, GINA or the Global Initiative for Asthma along with NHLBI or the National Heart Lung Blood Institute United States of America along with all the chest physicians and the physicians throughout the world. This is a harbinger or an indication that you have to celebrate about this particular disease called asthma throughout the world to create a public awareness as to what asthma is. But the question of what asthma is, asthma is a lung disease. In the lung we have two lungs and in these two lungs there are about 300 million to 450 million alveoli or soap bubbles. In this alveoli or soap bubbles you get the oxygen exchange and the carbon dioxide exchange. You take an oxygen and you throw out carbon dioxide through all these 300 million to 450 million alveoli in the lung. These are soap bubbles. Now into these soap bubbles the windpipe, you take the oxygen in the atmospheric air through the nose and the mouth into the trachea or the windpipe which divides into two windpipes like an upside down tree and like the trunks of a tree they keep on dividing like a tree trunk and they end up with the leaves. The leaves are the alveoli or the soap bubbles. So the total number of leaves or the alveoli in the lungs are 300 million to 450 million leaves or alveoli and connecting them are this upside down tree with the tree trunks. These are the windpipes. Now in asthma the windpipes get narrowed. The windpipes another name is called bronchus. So you have a bronchitis or an allergic bronchitis or inflammation of the windpipes. So when the windpipes get inflamed what happens is this. The normal windpipe is this is the diameter. In asthma it becomes smaller, smaller and it becomes very small. How it happens is because of the increased phlegm and the muscles getting thicker and the muscles coming down in size. So the diameter from this becomes slowly smaller, smaller, smaller and becomes very small and then you start getting the symptoms of asthma. Now what are the symptoms of asthma? The symptoms of asthma which is a lung disease and which is the disease of the windpipes is cough, phlegm, breathing problem and something called as the wheeze. The wheeze is a musical noisy sound which happens in the throat when you are taking a breath in and breath out. So that is called as a wheezing. The symptoms are cough, phlegm, breathlessness and wheezing. You may have fever or not. Associated with this are other signs of allergy like sneezing, running nose, colds. When you have this with a family history of allergy and sinusitis or eosinophilia, think you have asthma and come to a doctor. Once you come to a doctor, doctor will do a test. Now a test for any heart disease is ECG. Like that a test for lung disease is called as pulmonary function testing. Now a very bedside example of a pulmonary function testing is a peak flow meter. You take this peak flow meter, put it in your mouth and blow. This is just 500 rupees. This is a pulmonary function testing. This should be done for all lung patients especially with asthma. Now this connected to a computer is called as a pulmonary function testing and that is your test for asthma. Once the test for asthma is done you have to do your treatment. Now before going into the right treatment, I'll tell you what was the wrong treatment for the last 40 to 50 years. Still practiced now in major hospitals by senior doctors. And the treatment is still injections are being given. Injections are being given, Tamil Nadu Solon Arambosi. The injections are being given into the veins. Certain types of injections are being given. They should not be given because they are dangerous to life. What should be given is what is called as inhalers. These inhalers have medicines inside these canisters which are gas form and they should be given usually through a device called as a spacer device. Especially in children and elderly they are very useful. So you give an inhaler and keep it in the mouth and start breathing out and in. So this is called an inhaler and a spacer device. This is the treatment for asthma. First treatment, second treatment, third treatment is only inhalers and spacer device, not injections, not even tablets. Now another form of inhalers is this. This is called as a capsule, you don't take the capsule in your mouth, you put it inside this called as a rota inhaler, close it, you press it, there are needles pressing the capsule, put it in your mouth and inhale. Only the powder in the capsule goes inside, the capsule does not go inside. After finishing it, you just throw it out. Another form of the same type of asthma devices is this, again a rota inhaler. Now the ultimate form for treatment for asthma is what is called as a nebulizer. Now, Olden days and even now as I told you the wrong treatment is they give injections into the veins for asthma. That should not happen. What you should have is what is called as an inhaler where you get the uh, medicines in the form of a gas and you keep it in your face through your nose and mouth you start inhaling. So this is a nebulizer. This is what you should ask your doctor in an emergency not injections. This is called as a nebulizer. Okay. 
in children you have to be very careful for asthma because children rapidly uh, deteriorate and may land up in the ICU or emergency. So children should go to a child specialist or a chest specialist for immediate asthma treatment. Pregnant women also, elderly people, those who smoke, these are all the danger people and those who are exposed to dust should go to an asthma specialist or a chest specialist immediately. So the take home message is when you have asthma like an ECG use a quick flow meter. When you have asthma don't do, go for injections use an inhaler with spacer device or use any of the other known devices and if you are having an acute attack of asthma especially for children use a nebulizer. You can see this gas coming out like this. So this is called a nebulizer and this is what you must use. Ask your doctor if they are not providing you one.